The first thing I'm going to do is check the relative height to the width proportion of the object. And in using the little teriyaki skewer, which is for me a little more accurate than the pencil since it's a little thinner, but a pencil is just fine. But I notice the relationship of height to width is about one to one. So it effectively will fit inside of a square. And that's the result of the foreshortening of this object since it's aiming straight at me. I'm checking for, I'm added a central line, vertical, and a horizontal line to help me, help guide me how to lay out the object and to know what's just below the center point and what's to the left and the right of it. And I'm feeling my way around the object with these contour lines. I'm using a 2H pencil for most of this at this point. And now I'm looking for the cross contours that I've drawn directly on the object. And seeing them really helps me to find the angles that they're sitting at so that we see each plane or side of the object that we're looking at. Now we're not using shading in this, so we're going to be using line weight to basically give the object a sense of depth and volume, especially since it's jutting out at us. And I'm using lines, uh, exploratory lines, knowing that I'll go in and erase the excess ones and re-amplify the the accurate ones with the darker line. You'll notice that I'm switching to an HP pencil now, and I'm using that exclusively on the front part of the object. And what this is going to do is give a sense of dimensionality, since we're not using shading that the darker line is really going to feel like it's jutting out towards us. You'll notice I'm using a small chip brush to whisk away the excess uh, pencil erasures that I'm putting in. Uh, it keeps the drawings from getting smudged that way. And now I'm reinforcing the contour lines and now going into the cross contour lines actually with a 6B pencil to really give it the sense that the object is dimensional and those darker lines are jutting out at us and the lighter lines are uh, receding away from us. And I'm going to use a kneaded eraser soon and tap some of the lines that are on the back part of the object to lighten them up, which gives it a sense of what we call atmospheric perspective. And that's the sense that objects get lighter as they recede away from us in space. 